Hi everybody. Today is Friday, June 7, 2019. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here with the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Salt Lake City. And this is a spring snowmelt runoff briefing looking specifically at peak flows, where we are today and where we're headed in the near future. So let's just kind of take a scan down through the state, at least through the northern parts, and then we'll talk about what's going on in the south. So let's start far north. This is Logan. Uh, the Logan River and so what you'll see on your left is the actual river flow and on the y-axis is on the left side is the height of the river in feet and then on the right side of the y-axis is the flow in cubic feet per second time is on the x-axis and then the graph to your right is the snow uh, that's in the headwaters feeding the river that we're seeing on the left y-axis is snow water equivalent and uh, and then the percent seasonal median is on the right you really don't have to look at that it's mostly inches of water left for this year and at the melt rates so when you look at the Logan River uh, you see the red dashed line that's flood yellow or kind of orange is bankful we're not even close uh, we're about 787 CFS and the forecast calls for it to drop off because we're getting a cold system tomorrow on Saturday that's going to drop temperatures roughly 17 degrees and slow the melt dramatically. When you look at Tony Grove Lake Snow Tell, and this is by the NRCS, this is their automated snow measuring station at 8,300 feet, uh, you see we've got about 12 inches remaining at this location. There's more at the higher elevations, but this is a good indicator for the Logan River of where we are. It's been melting at an inch and a half per day when you average the last three days together, and they've got 12 inches left. So the northern part of the state really has had uh, a, about average snow, average runoff, because they didn't get the storms. The farther south you go, and that's what we'll see here, Things get a little more dramatic. Uh, the Weber near Oakley had a big jump last night from roughly about 1,000 CFS upwards of 1,700 CFS heading toward Bankful. Uh, it's probably in the headwater areas above that, out of its banks in some areas. But uh, with the temperatures that we've got today, even though it's uh, a little cooler than yesterday, we'll still see another jump a little bit. And then the forecast calls for it to drop off. When you look at Trial Lake, and this is a snow tell that's a really good indicator for a lot of the northern basins, the Bear River drainage, the Weber, the Provo, and uh, the Duchesne, this is at 9,992 feet elevation, and it's melting uh, at about an inch, 1.1 inches per day. But it has 23 inches of snow water equivalent remaining. So even though it's going to get cold, we anticipate the rivers to go back up in about a week's time after this cold snap goes through. So that's what we've got for the weaver. This one is a little disconcerting. This is Little Cottonwood Creek or Crestwood Park. And you'll see some bad data in here. It's a little noise as it drops off. But if you look at the trend line, uh, we anticipate it going to Bankful at 700 CFS. And this is pretty close to flood of 800. And it's most likely going to go a little higher than 700 CFS such. We've seen the river's been outperforming our model. Uh, and then the cold weather is going to knock this back down to about 300 CFS in, in really the nick of time here. If we had more hot days where we saw, you know, mid 80s at Salt Lake uh, for maybe two or three days, most likely we would hit flood, but it's gotten cold. But then if you look back about the 14th, it's going to reach back at 700 CFS and we're going to see where we are at that time. We'll reassess. If you look at Snowbird, Snowbird has been melting at a rate of three, roughly three inches per day over the last 48 hours, uh, for the last two days. That is really a lot of melt in one day. Think of a rain event across where all the snow is of three inches in 48 hours. That's fueling these rises on Little Cottonwood. And Little Cottonwood has so much development, there's really no room for error because everything is built right on the creek. This is one we're watching very closely. But when you look at Snowbird's uh, snow up there, there's 35 inches of snow water equivalent, and it's been melting 
you know, on a on an easy day, about an inch per day. And lately, when it got up to the, you know, in the 80s, mid 80s, what we're seeing is three inches per day. So this is something that's really quite dramatic. We're keeping our eyes on that one. Now let's shift over uh, to the Provo near Woodland. And this is up in the headwater areas. You can see the rise on the river. Uh, we're up to about 2,100 feet. We're above bank full. It's out of its banks all along the Provo and the, in the upper elevations uh, near this town. But it really doesn't affect anything. We don't see damage to bridges and such until we get to somewhere around 3,200 CFS. But if you look at that same snow tail, Trial Lake, which is a good indicator, it's up in the Provo headwaters, we've got 23 inches left. So most likely we're going to revisit this in a week and we'll see where we are depending on how hot it gets. But we're behaving to this point in this area. Now let's move over to the Duchesne where you look uh, near the town of Tabione, and you can see some pretty significant rises headed toward Bankful, but we think that's going to roll over and it's going to drop off with this cold weather. But if you look at Brown Duck, this is a snow tail lo located at 10,600 feet in the headwaters of the Duchesne. We've got 27 inches remaining, and it's so high, it's, it's about 0.8 inches per day melt rates, but it's closer to an inch. Uh, and you can see the second half of May, how much water was put into uh, this snowpack uh, when we should have been melting it off. It had that jump. Um, this is another area that we're going to have to revisit uh, in about a week's time. So there you have it. Um, something I didn't mention in the essence of time is southern Utah. The runoff is coming okay. The severe is, is out of its banks in many places, not causing a problem. But this cold is going to knock that back. And then we're going to reassess in about a week's time. Some of the higher elevation watersheds still have a lot of snow. But we're going to see how that goes, and we'll talk about it then. For now, this is Brian McInerney, National Weather Service hydrologist. So far, we're all under the flood levels. We've gotten very high levels. The, the rivers are raging right now, fed by mid and high elevation watersheds. Please stay away. Watch your children. Watch your pets. Use good judgment. We'll talk again. Thank you.